in any car project, sometimes you have weeks where it's one step forward and two steps back. This was one of those in week three. I'll take you through what I've managed to get done this week on our Risky Business Project 928S. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the Project Risky Business, the Guys With Rides, Project 928. So it's been three weeks since Nick and I brought this car back from Buffalo uh, to work on. So as the lead-in video showed, I, I struggled to move the car around on the Harbor Freight wheel skates that I bought. It's funny because this car's weight distribution is supposed to be 50-50, and while you can see I can move the rear end around quite easily the front end gave us fits and i had to uh, call on uh, two of my next door neighbors to uh, muscle this car around because it'll be a lot easier to work on it this is the cell where i can film it uh, there's good lighting and the all of my tools are readily at hand so until i get this thing started again this is the position the car is staying in because i can only uh, bother my neighbors so many times more, more parts ordered in the last week uh, you can see a couple uh, can't see them in the bags but the uh, two primary heater hoses, the V-belts, and the, uh, the balance of the key ignition parts, the spark plugs, and the Bosch distributor caps I talked about last week. That combined with the negative ground strap cable that I'll show in a little bit, all of that came in from Pelican. That's the good news. Also, I think I showed it last week, but the water pump, only the water pump and the related parts to that came in last week from 928 specialties unfortunately one week later i'm sitting here still without an idle roller and the key component the timing belt that i'm going through this whole thing i've been in contact with uh, the lady at 928 specialties talked to her on monday and she she was waiting for the parts to come in they um, her supplier had given her the wrong parts and she assured me if it got there yesterday she was going to overnight it to me today wednesday as of this video, I do not have the parts, and I'm not sure um, what the situation is. So, hate to say it, but I ordered these parts on October 21st, and here it is, November 4th, and I'm still sitting here waiting for what's needed to put this thing, uh, uh, to do the timing system. So, so, not only am I waiting for parts, I discovered as I was trying to get up to speed on how to take this car engine apart, that the manuals I bought did not have the 85 32 valve engine supplement in it so i'm anxiously awaiting to hear back from the uh, vendor i bought the books from uh, so gt specialties sent me some links to download the supplement while i wait for the hard copy so i can move forward with a project from that perspective what did i do in the interim i am getting the uh, car ready let me take you through uh, how i de how i steam clean an engine Rather than spray all kinds of chemicals and get the floor dirty. It was a Christmas present a few years ago. My wife got me a Reliant 500cc steam cleaning system. And I really like this unit as I can use steam to uh, clean various components uh, before I start disassembling it. It makes, it makes the job a bit cleaner and easier to find bolts and take them apart. So before I press the play button, a couple of things for the setup. So the Reliant, you can't see on the floor. So that red pad is a Griot's Garage microfiber fender cover. I got this a couple of years ago from Griot's Garage, and I really like it because it's uh, soft on the fenders. And particularly on this car, it's an aluminum fender, so I'm trying to you know minimize the uh, possibility for any damage. So all I use on this is uh, the steam cleaner without any attachments and some Kirkland microfiber towels that I get readily at Costco. Basically, when I start this, I you'll see me, I'm going to purge it, get the uh, cooled steam, and I just go to town, steam cleaning everything and, and uh, loosening the built-in dirt, and it does a phenomenal job without having to rely on chemicals. So here's my, here's my methodology. I just basically use the steam cleaner, 
and a parts washing brush and work on one section at a time. Work off the dirt. Wipe it up with a microfiber towel and that's my system for slowly detailing the engine. You can see the difference between the left and the right air intake here. Um, great way to clean the uh, uh, parts on the car without worried of, about uh, electronic components. All right, next up, I noticed that the battery cable, I think I've mentioned it before, the battery sits in the trunk underneath the spare tire. And the cable in that was clearly not original because the, uh, the battery box cover f um, would not close. So I, I sure enough checked and the, the 928 uses a, uh, a, a flat ground strap that I'll show in a second. So this was the other job I got done this week and let me take you through that. Okay, so here you see it, and that's a good example. I really can't close the door. There's the new replacement strap. It's a f flat thing. Now here, it, it's held on by a thumb screw. I've just uh, been on there a while, so I'm just trying to loosen it. And once I get that loosened, it's just a finger on loosened. And you can see the round, what would be a traditional battery cable. And just took some sanding to clean up the strap. There's the old one. And as you can see, the door shuts very nicely now. A minor detail that I just wanted to get done. So not much progress this week, uh, but I'm hoping that uh, 928 Specialties is finally going to come through in the next couple of days. Give me the timing belt stuff, and then once I go through all of the inventory, I can start taking this apart comfortably. So that's it for this week. A quick update. Not much progress. A lot more parts. Uh, I'm hoping that GT Specialties will come through by the end of the week with the timing belt and the other um, several pieces that have been on back order. And if that's the case, I will start really working on this um, and, and trying to provide daily vlogs of my progress as I slowly do the timing uh, belt replacement and water pump replacement. On. So thanks for watching this week's quick update. If you're enjoying this video, please, by all means, subscribe. And even more importantly, check out our main website, guyswithrides.com. We provide a, a bunch of daily content there, and you can even sign up for our daily newsletter that goes out six times a week. appreciate you watching, and look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks, and have a great day.